Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I am going to be showing you how you can validate a mobile phone number using C. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you have these four libraries imported at the top of your code. We'll be needing them for this tutorial. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our validate phone number function. So we're going to do bool. Validate phone number as the name, char pointer phone number to be the string containing the phone number we want to validate. So I'm going to be doing a UK mobile phone validation function here. But you can customize this because even though you may not want to validate a UK phone number, you can modify this ever so slightly to validate a phone number from your home country. So, firstly, we need to check the length of the phone number. So, we're going to do if strlen phone underscore number is not equal to 11, return false. So, if the phone number isn't equal to 11 digits long, it's invalid. Because in the UK, our mobile phone numbers are 11 digits long. So we return a false to tell whatever we call the function, hey, the phone number you gave is invalid, and this will stop the function, this function from occurring, because there's no point continuing with the other checks, because no matter if the rest is valid, the fact is it's not 11 characters long, so it's invalid. strlen is how you can get the length of a string, by the way. The next step is, we need to make sure that the first character of our phone number is an, a zero, and the second character of our phone number is a seven, because in the UK, your mobile phone number will start with 07. So we can do phone number index zero is not equal to zero, or phone number index one is not equal to seven, return false. So if at least one of these conditions are true, we're going to return a false because we need to have a zero as the first character and a seven as the second character. Lastly, we have a for loop because we need to make sure that every single character in this number is a digit. We don't have letters in our phone numbers in the UK. So what are we going to do? We're going to do for int i equals zero, i less than 11, i plus plus. You might be thinking, Max, why don't you do the length of your phone number? Simple reason, we don't need to. We know it's going to be 11 because it's a UK phone number. You will need to change this if a phone number in your country is a different length. So we're going to loop through every character of the phone number, and we're going to do if exclamation mark is digit phone number i return false. Basically, if the current character we're looking at isn't a digit, return false because no point checking the rest, we found a character that's not a digit, therefore it's not a valid phone number. And we do this for every character in the phone number. If we get through all of the validation, we return a true because it's a valid phone number. That's it for the function, let's do the main method. This is going to be our main method. We're going to do bool is valid equals false. This is going to be the bool variable that's going to hold the result of our validation. And then we can do char pointer number to check equals a number we want to check. Is valid equals validate phone number, number to check. So we're going to call our validation function. We're going to pass in the number we want to check, which is this variable here. And is valid, which is the bool we made here, is going to either have a true or a false, depending on which return statement is executed inside our function. Then we do printf test1 colon percent test new line. So we're going to print out test1, then we're going to print out a string, and then a new line. Then we do a comma, is valid, question mark, true, false. If you don't understand what this line does, there's an eye up in the corner that's going to explain everything clearly for you. However, a quick breakdown is, is valid is our boolean. We're going to check if it's true or false. If it's true, we print out true. If it's false, we print out false. Where we print out the true or the false is where the percent %s is in our printf statement. Again, the eye in the corner will explain this in more detail. So let's save our work and hit play. Well, it's true because it's 11 characters long and it starts with a no and a seven and it only has digits. Let's put a one after it. Well, now it's false because it's clearly too long. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more C tutorials. Thanks for watching.